Hello everyone, I'm Al Cadulo, and today we're going to show you how to download and stitch your files from the Zcam K1 Pro VR180 camera. When we get done, we'll be ready to go to the next lesson where we go into bringing your files into Premiere Pro CC for editing. So I've got my K1 Pro right here. Let's get started. You'll need to download the Zcam controller software from Zcam.com. The Zcam controller software is a software suite that provides basic control features for the Zcam cameras. It is available for both PC and Mac. The first thing that we need to do is to power up the K1 Pro camera. Next, connect an Ethernet cable from the camera to your computer. When you see the lights flashing, you'll know that you have a good connection and we can move on to the next step. Open the Zcam controller software and from the action menu, select Scan Cameras. A pop-up window will appear which will show your cameras. If it's your first time using the software, you may need to type in the camera ID numbers. To find your ID numbers, power on the camera and click the Information button five times. You will then see the Ethernet address for camera A and camera B. Once your cameras are selected by clicking Choose, the window will close. Select the Tools drop-down and click on the File Manager. The File Manager window will open up, revealing all of your videos that are recorded onto your SD cards on your K1 Pro camera. You can even open up each set and see the individual video files and play them back. You then have a choice of clicking the checkbox for each individual file or going down to the lower left and clicking Select All. Next, click the Download button and you'll be asked to browse for the destination for your files. By clicking Download, the process will begin automatically. We're going to jump ahead and see what happens when it completes that task. On the upper left of the pop-up window, click Done. You'll then be presented with a list of your imported files. Clicking 360 will open up the Zcam Wonderstitch software. On the left side, you'll see the input file directory. This shows you the file that you're working with currently. You can go ahead and trim your start and end frames if you like. In the output destination directory, you'll need to select where you want the files to go by clicking Browse. You're also presented with a choice of output resolution, output type, and layout. These are adjustable depending upon your choice. The recommended output resolution is 2880. This will give you a 5760 by 2880 video resolution. The recommended output type is VR180 Equirectangular. Rectangular. 360 and VR180 video are both spherical videos. But in order for you to edit these videos, they are presented as 2D Equirectangular, Rectangular, which is to say that they are cut apart and laid out flat so you can see them easily for editing. I like to use left-right layout, but you can choose top-bottom if you like. Below that, in basic settings, you have a choice of codec type. You can choose H.264 or H.265 with various quality settings below that. When using H.264, I like to use 220 megabits per second CBR or constant bitrate. If I choose H.265, I use 160 megabits per second CBR, constant bitrate. I believe these settings will give you the best result, but the choice is yours. Under the Stitch Engine settings, you have a choice of CPU or GPU with a CUDA card. You will definitely get faster performance from the GPU with a CUDA card over the CPU setting. Just below that, you have a choice to switch your left and right images. I suggest you keep that on. And finally, there's a toggle switch for Smart Align. I would strongly recommend leaving this in the on position. And by clicking the Start button on the lower right, the process will begin for stitching the two images together. When the process is complete, you'll see a message in the window saying, Process, Finish, Success. A file manager window will also pop open showing the completed file. By double clicking on that, we can take a look at the finished stitch file. 
If you have a pair of anaglyph glasses around, you can look at the 3D to check it. If you don't have anaglyph glasses, follow the link below in the description and they'll send you a free pair. Close that window and close the Wonder Stitch window and go to your next file and click 360 again. Repeat this process until you have all of your files stitched. Then you'll be ready to go to the next step of importing your files into Premiere Pro CC. We'll dive into that in our next tutorial. Some of these steps may look slightly different on a Mac. I will have another tutorial that deals with this.